Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've been missing in action here on YouTube and pretty much just on social media in general. Um, not anything I'm proud of, but unfortunately that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. And I've been going through a fucking crazy month. I'm not gonna get into everything that's been going on, but I will get into the main thing, which I'm sure you can tell from the background. And I'm probably going to regret talking about this because originally the way I was hoping to announce it was with us moving into a new house. Um, unfortunately, that's probably not going to be the case. I mean, we'll eventually obviously move into a, a new house, but the question is, I have no idea where we're going. I have no idea what the house will look like. I have no idea about anything. All I know is I need to get out of this house. I'm not gonna get like super into it but we basically came across a house that we really liked and we were like oh my god we can move like that would be so great because we didn't really think we could move. Kind of felt like trapped in here and the best way I can describe it is this house to me has been like Alice in Wonderland in a bad way. Basically I feel like I'm trapped. This house makes me feel that way. I, I don't know like I'm grateful to have a roof over my head but it's just been a series of unfortunate events that from when I lived here, like we had our neighbor's freaking tree fall in our backyard and ruin our entire fence. How does that happen? And that's on us to pay, which is so annoying. And then, you know, we've just had so many repairs have, having to go on. It's just been constant, 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 one thing after another, which yes, is usually what happens when you're a homeowner, but this is an old home, so the old, the things are more frequent. Um, and we're just quite frankly over it. So we decided we wanted to move. We tried to put the house up for the market. We had a bunch of potential buyers. They all went with new builds. You know how that shit goes. So right now we're just trying to figure out what our next step is. There's multiple steps that we can make. Um, we can definitely like sell our back a lot, which would require a surveyor. It's just this whole thing it's just so much and i just don't really want to get into it but i felt like i was kind of like keeping a major thing obviously from you guys and it's pretty obvious if you look around what's going on because there's boxes literally everywhere we had to declutter furniture now gone my owl wall is gone in boxes it's just crazy and it barely feels like my home it feels just like a different place so basically what i want you guys to do is manifest this house selling for a decent price because we want to get out we always basically planned on moving after like three to five years however did we think three to five years would come so fast not necessarily because we've been in this house now for three years which is crazy um and a lot of people are gonna be like oh my god i thought this was your dream home I gotta be honest, I think we were definitely rushed into this home. I think we should have seen other options out there, but I remember this was the first house we saw. Um, I asked our realtor at the time, I was like, is this as good as it's gonna get for what we're looking for? She said yes. Now that I see like houses that sold later on after this one, I'm like, probably should have waited. That's life, you know? Our house is like an amazing location and the price increase that has gone up of this house is obviously made it worth it but I just I'm over it we're moving we need to get out are we leaving Nashville I don't know um we're not we're gonna be back for sure to Nashville however there's many things that could happen and we just don't really know what's going on so unfortunately I can't really tell you guys <laughs> I wish more than anything I had an answer for you guys, but unfortunately I do not, and that's okay. So that's my little update. Now let's talk about fashion because unfortunately I've been super bad. Um, I have been buying a lot of clothes. I think I took my stress out on my credit card. No, I'm just kidding. I paid for everything paid off everything so do not panic but I did go a little insane for someone who should be selling their clothes right now you know what I'm saying so yes a Poshmark sale will be coming soon which you guys love and you guys are always so helpful I was looking at my shoe closet and I was like holy shit I have so much shoes I haven't worn in like three years I didn't even know I had half these shoes definitely gonna be posting a lot of shoes so if you're at nine nine and a half ten you're in luck. Now let's go ahead and get into this haul. I'm gonna do it here just because we're on the same level as my closet. Because I don't wanna make a mess. 
you know how it go but it's been quite the experience trying to find everything because when you're boxing up things and like hiding things you hide them from yourself and then you can't find them ever again imagine that like you guys want to know where i found this zara tank top that i got couldn't find it for the last week i found it behind my bed why was it behind my bed i don't know first thing i'm going to show you guys is this little cute tank top that was $30 from Zara. I haven't tried this on still because I just rediscovered it, but it, I think it could be fun. It could also be really bad with someone as big of boobs as me. I'm up for the challenge and you'll see it on the little try on portion, but I thought for $30, it'd be so cute with just jeans, simple. Then I have this little jumpsuit. You guys told me it looked like the longest pair of high-waisted jeans, which fair. Um, it's definitely like a play on an Alexander Wang jumpsuit. It's just from Zara, so it's cheaper. I think I paid like $60 for this jumpsuit. Prepare to be sick of me in it. I love a denim romper, a denim jumpsuit. Anything denim related that's a one piece is up my alley any day. So I'm very excited about that, but there's tons of stuff constantly coming in. So maybe I'll link some new things that I love in the description box for you guys. So I have my birthday here in a few weeks, which I'm going to Las Vegas with my friends. Originally I was supposed to go to Miami. I was supposed to do both. Um, unfortunately, this entire situation kind of put a damper on the Miami portion, but it's fine. You only turn 30 once. So I got this little dress from Rat and Boa. It's so fun, but it's like impossible to share it with you guys on here. But just trust me. I'm not going to try this part on because I want you guys to wait till my birthday to see how cute it is. But trust me, it's amazing. And I got a swimsuit from Revolve to wear underneath it. Now this part I will try on for you guys. Look at this bikini. It's pretty scandalous, but I'm kind of here for it. The high-waisted bottoms are the most flattering bottoms in the entire world. They like hit exactly where you want them to hit. I wish I would have sized down in this top because it is a little large, which is crazy because it's a medium. All the rest of the things are from Revolve because I'm addicted, as you guys know. And I'm gonna start off with my birthday dresses because I know that's probably the things you guys are the most interested in. For starters, I got these little cuff bracelets from Lily Class, but they're on Revolve. They are so sparkly. They were kind of expensive. So did I need these? No, but I'm super obviously into the cuff thing right now, just like every other basic bitch in this world. I had all of my outfits planned for my birthday and then I came across this dress. Okay, look at this. Look at this, look at this, okay? I'm going to insert the photo here because I just want to, once again, kind of leave some things for the imagination for my birthday weekend. It was expensive, um, but do I regret spending the money on it? Absolutely not because I am stressed and that made me feel better. Focusing on outfits makes me feel so much better, which is kind of fucked up, but that's my life. Then I got this dress as well. Oh my God, it's insane. I have a color palette without even planning, but I have this Bottega bag, as you guys know, that is the same color that I cannot wait to wear with this dress. Look at the sequins. Oh my God. Cause I'm there for three nights and I'm just going big. I got these shoes from Revolve as well. They are like a cult Gaia dupe. They make me incredibly tall and they're actually very comfortable and easy to walk in. The heel's only like that big. <laughs> these were like 200 bucks, which the cult Gaia ones are like something crazy. Um, of course I had to get the feather version of that dress that I wore at Coachella. That's fun, right? I wish I actually would have sized up on this. This is a medium. They are a little tight around my actual thighs because the thighs save lives. I have muscular legs. There's nothing I can do about it. This cute little baby tee. Oh my God, look at the little buttons. Look at the little frilly thing. Oh, she's cute. Like under 50 bucks. I love a baby tee. As you guys know, I have a billion of them. With this whole moving situation, I was like, I need some comfortable things that make me look cute. Oh my God, I wear sweats every fucking day. I need to like elevate it, maybe just this pad. So I got this little jumpsuit from Free People. It is definitely oversized, which I was so here for. It's the softest t-shirt 
like I haven't bought anything from Free People in a while and I don't know why I stopped because it's so comfortable and the stuff is so good. Guys, this thing is the greatest thing of all time and if you don't understand the greatness of an amazing jumpsuit, then I feel sorry for you. I also purchased these overalls, which I wore recently and they are so fun. I'm going to order them in like a normal color as well because I love an overall moment. These are by We The Free. I got them in a size medium and they are like the perfect fit. How cool is this? Like a little bleachy pink moment. They're like 60 bucks on Revolve right now. Tied with the thing I'm wearing right now, my favorite of every comfortable thing I got. We the free, again, look at that, okay? It's not doing it justice when I hold it up, but you have to trust me when I say, this is the softest denim. It's not hard denim. It's not gonna like make your crotch hurt. It feels like butter. Definitely get this. If there's one thing to get from this haul, it's that. <sighs> then I have this shirt, which is inside out, but I love just a throw on and go type of shirt. This was that shirt. Oh my God, this set I got to wear in Vegas on my birthday. Well, not on my birthday, but one of the days on my birthday because it matches my Bottega bag and my Bottega sunglasses that I wore at Coachella. The big butter yellow ones. Oh. So this is a cute little cargo vest, adorable pockets parachute pants so thin so even though you're wearing pants in vegas it's gonna feel like you're not wearing pants in vegas because they're that thin which normally like a thin thing would you be like wow i don't think that's worth the money but this is gonna be probably my travel outfit you're just gonna have to see it on you're just gonna have to come into the end i promise then i have this tula rosa dress which i haven't tried on yet i kind of forgot i had it it's so cute. It's like, I love a dainty white dress. I collect white dresses. I collect white everything. White's my favorite color to wear. Denim and white. Just, if it comes in those things, like, sign me up. I'm gonna choose white. How cute. Little dainty. Like, I'm gonna go frolic. Got it in a medium. My birthday falls on CMA Fest weekend, so I'll be out of town. But I do a lot of, like, CMA Fest stuff leading up to actual CMA Fest. So I got this dress just in case I had any events pop up and it's a Love Shack fancy dress. I never thought I would own a Love Shack fancy dress past the year like 2011, but here we are. My friend Alexa Losey posted this like leading up to Coachella and I was shooketh. I've never loved something from Love Shack fancy quite like I love this dress. And it's just like so plump and I love it and it makes me feel like a princess and that makes me feel special. Everything that I have told you to purchase at this point, it has been a lie because this is actually the greatest thing of all time. Another thing I plan on packing with me for my birthday weekend to wear casually for like shopping with like gold accessories, kind of like what I'm rocking right now is this dress from Free People. It's $98, I got it in a medium. Oh my God, it's just like a tent. All the reviews are like, oh my God, it's like a sheet. I'm like, yes, and that's why we love it. I just love this. Honestly, it's everything to me. I love an asymmetrical moment. Oh, it's just me in a dress and I'm really excited about that. And the last thing I have to share with you guys is this sleeper dress. So cute linen. We know I love a light white, a white dress and this is no exception. Just can't be like freshly tanned like self tan in this dress because I don't want to ruin it because it's so special. Um, I have a whole vlog of like what's going on kind of explaining the situation that whenever I'm ready to post that, I will. Oh God, life is just crazy. This can be a great thing, but that can also be a pain in the ass. So I'm glad I don't have to hide these boxes or like my owl wall being down anymore because it's just completely obvious as to what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, be sure you stick around by subscribing. Until next time, bye.